stencils. A bait painter's favorite tool. If you're like me, you've made stencils out of cardstock, folder covers. Today, we're gonna try to make multi-use stencil. And to do that, we're gonna use recycled plastic. So make sure your plastic has that HDPE symbol, recycle symbol on it. We should be able to cut this into a section that we want with just a knife. So now we're gonna melt it down. Parchment paper, plastic. 350, melt. We need to figure out what stencil we're gonna do. Here we go. Pumpkin seed, that's kind of what I'm looking for. I'm gonna note the center. So you can see they're kind of in lines, then scattered up here, and a little scattered there. So lines kind of around the center. Now, I've got a fairly smooth side over here. This side, though, is pretty rough. So we might go ahead and try to shave that down so we don't have such a rough side. Alright, I'm gonna kind of smooth this out with the blade, maybe. Way easier. This one I drew by hand and we're just gonna kind of cut by the hand. This is completely eyeballed and we'll see how it turns out. I've got candy in this. So there's the stencils. That turned out really nice, I like that. Uh, these are supposed to be fins. They need a little work. Um, and this is kind of my crappie pattern and my pumpkin seed pattern. Um, that looks like it's gonna work really well, so. would come up. Well. I got it on real low pressure. Trying to breathe it. Over oh, squeeze. Just remember that for that piece. Now, for the stencil, turn side lines, get my second hand in. Alright, I want it to be as much like this as tight as possible. Take one of these clamps and clamp back side. Here we go. Not good. But there's the result. <laughs> it's awesome looking. Okay, I'm I'm good with that. So that's what the stencil looks like. Turned out really good, I think. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay. I've also got some gill patterns that I've cut out on these. So let's try that.